So we've got a uh, fairly tricky normal distribution. The question here where we're given sort of probabilities, we've got prime values of x. Uh, um, so uh, generally speaking, to, uh, a diagram will help us through this. So we'll draw a diagram to tell you. And I'll take um, the first piece of information, um, the value that we're larger than, so the value that we're smaller than, shall I say, a is 0 0.4. So this value then, so if I put my 100 here, okay, then this value um, is going to be less than 100, because probably there were less than 100 at the mean is a half. We're looking at something that's about there. Okay, so we put the there. So it's a value that's less than 100, and being to the left of it is 0.4. So um, we can't find 0.4 in the z tables. We can take into um, account that something being less than 0.6 will have something that's 0.4 above it. So what I'm going to try and do then is find the z value on the z value, okay, where um, there's, when I look up z. I find 0.6. Okay, and so that value will be uh, a z value of, above 0, and then I'll be able to interpret that as a negative z value, and then that will fit with the 0.4 below. So if we look up uh, 0.6 in the tables, then the closest we can get to that is a z value of 0. 2, 5. Now it doesn't give you exactly 0 0.6, but to two decimal places it's as close as you can get. So what we've found then is probably that we're less than 0 0.25, probably what z is less than 0 0.25 is 0 0.6. So that means probably that z is greater than 0 0.25 would be 0 0.4. Alright, so this bit would be 0 0.4. So therefore the probability that z is less than minus 0 0.25 would pick it out 0 0.4, which is what we want. So we now convert our minus 0 0.25 z value into the x value. Now the x minus the mean, which is 100, over the standard deviation, which is 15. So you will end up with the simple rearrangement of this equation is x will equal 100 minus 15 times 0 0.2. Five. So you take your calculator and you finish that off, and you'll find um, that that comes to 96.25. So that's our first um, value of x. Um, now, with the second, uh, again, I'd like to do the diagram to show you how to do this. Second bit of information we've been given is the product that we're above um, another value that's below b. B. Probably that we're above is 0.6. Now, again, we, that will be a minus number in terms of z. If we look up the plus value of z, so if we look for up 0.6915, we will then find the positive value of z that corresponds to the minus value of z. This 0.695 will give us the point that we are less than. Okay, a positive value, which is exactly the same as being greater than the negative value by the symmetry properties. So if you look up 0.6915 under the word z values, you'll find it comes to 0.5. So the z value we have is 0.5. So 0.5 um, above uh, the one that corresponds to what we want is the negative. So what we're basically saying is the product of z is greater than minus 0.15 equals 0.6915. One five. Uh, so to convert this into x, then x will equal 100 minus 0 0.5 times 15, which is 92.5. So the probability that we're between the two, x is between um, 96.25 and 90. 2.5, um, I'll show you that now. We've got the most right up to the top. Well, we've got a value here. So we know that it's 0 0.4 below this value. That's the 96.25. And we're 
estén cada vez más. So, uh, so we start at 0.4 below 0.65, and we've got being below 92.5 was the point 0.4. So again, it's what we haven't actually got that bit right yet. So if below this value is 0.4, all across. Now we know being above 92.5 is 9.6915. Okay, that's above it. So being below it would be 0.3085. So the bit that I'm shading now is 0.3085. Okay, the bit we want is a bit here, plus, okay, so 0.4 subtract 0.3085. I'll just write that down the bottom. Okay, so the bit will be 0.4 minus 0.3085. Which, without a calculator, is not point one what? And that would be nine one five, and that's your answer to this very difficult normal distribution question.